Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're gonna to check it out some perspective text in Photoshop. So first step, I'm gonna select the type tool, click. I'm gonna to type in Panther, press Control T, press Control Shift plus Alt, scale it up. I'm gonna select the rectangle. I'm gonna choose the black color, and I'm gonna create a rectangle around the text. I'm gonna to go to the layer, drag the rectangle under the text. I'm gonna right click on the text, rasterize type. Let me align the text correctly. I'm gonna press and hold shift, select both, right click and merge layers. Now I'm gonna select the marquee tool. I'm gonna cut this part out, press control X and then control V, put it back where it was. I'm gonna select both. I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna select the marquee tool again and cut somewhere here. Press Control X, Control V. I'm gonna leave it here somewhere and I'm gonna go with the and T. I'm gonna press Control T. And from here, press and hold Control. And if, as you can see, if I move to this uh, corner, the arrow gonna turn white. So I'm gonna drag it up, also press Shift. So it's gonna go straight up. I'm gonna double click, release. I'm going to copy paste from this layer with the TER, another part. With the marquee, I can press Control X, Control V, and I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna press Control T. I'm gonna stretch it and distort it. You're gonna bring down the quality of the image a little more, but it looks kind of dope. Now we got the ER. I'm gonna bring it up the layer, and I'm gonna cut apart again, like this. Control X, Control V. I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna press Control T, stretch it out. And from here, I'm gonna press Control and drag this little corner down. Also press Shift and double click. So here is a little bit up. I'm gonna press Control T again. Press and hold Control, also drag it down like that. And now we're left with the R. I'm gonna put it here. Press Control T, press and hold Shift. Now I'm gonna crop this also, so it doesn't look that big. So what I wanna do is also add some shading to the NT on this side, so we can differentiate what is going on. So I'm gonna double click here, go to Color Overlay, click on it. I'm gonna select the black, and I'm gonna decrease the opacity, somewhere around 30. Click OK. And I'm gonna make this lighter, this area. Let me check, yes, this is it. Double click, color overlay, and I'm gonna make this white. Actually, it won't look that good with white, but I'm thinking to change the plan mode. Let me see what happens, there you go. So you got like color dodge, I'm gonna decrease it, and it's basically gonna affect only the blue color. Click OK. And this is how you make a perspective text in Illustrator. Thanks so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.